Well, Ken, I suppose it's all about going forward. It, it is, yeah. We're disappointed with the, the, the result on Saturday. And um, looking at us so far, I do feel we've, we've got quite a good side. We've got good options. Uh, and we've got to make sure now we turn that into consistent results. And that's really important pre, uh, uh, um, uh, in the early part of the season, which is where we are. Uh, and um, on Saturday, we can't say we were outclassed or didn't have a lot of it. And Sunderland away is traditionally a very difficult game. And we've had, we've had more problems there last season than we did probably Saturday. But similarly, there's crucial moments there that you know, we have to understand and know that they've affected it. And um, uh, they've, they've then really uh, taken the points because of those, those moments. Uh, going one nil up, having a, a really good start, uh, dominating, and then giving the two goals away like we did. I, w I was disappointed uh, after that. You know, we, we quite a lot of pressure on them second half. They hardly got out their half, and uh, while we had some chances, there's certain balls in the box uh, that our delivery wasn't right. And and similarly, you know, I'm looking at Ozturk, I'm looking at O'Neill. You know, they were first. They were first in that last 15 minutes when it needed to be us. And and so you have to get those um, those details right if you want to win games. So, uh, you know, I, I think a, a fair assessment of where we are, of what we need to do. And um, as a side, you know, I'm, I'm confident we've we've got a good team. And you know, we have to keep working away, try and get the balance right. And and if we can, you know, turn it into a, a consistently winning team. Do you contemplate changes, or do you go with the same lineup? Uh, they'll be, they're, 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 you know, they'll be um, uh, the same group. You know, I don't think it, anything will be uh, too much different. It's just those lads really making sure that they they nail down the details. That's the important thing. There's no um, uh, injuries uh, from Saturday, and uh, similarly, you know, James Bolton is a, another few days down, if you like, you know, to to to, to be involved as a, as our second right back. And uh, that's good news for us because I didn't think on, on Saturday he was quite right. His, his, his ankle wasn't quite 100% fit. He was training all last week, but um, could still slightly feel it and it was niggling him. But, uh, you know, a weekend off it has helped him train this morning and then he'll be able to go again. So after that, it's the same, yeah, it's the same group, same, same uh, uh, players that we have and, and players that are capable as well. And, you know, done well in the two home games we've had so far and want to try to, you know, make that a third if we can make Fratton Park a fortress, that would be, that would be great uh, uh, for us this season. They've had a goodish start, Coventry. Yeah, big club, Coventry, added well and um, you know, looking lively, as m many sides are, we know that. Uh, but it's sorting out our own form, making sure we're uh, competitive, but similarly humble enough to know that uh, we have to work very hard to get every single point we get in this division. We have to, we have to work hard for it and we have to be humble enough to realise that. Spoke about McCrory on Saturday. You seem to have a ready-made right back there, as well as a midfielder. Yeah, he's a good player. Um, we've been impressed with him in pre-season. A uh, young guy, obviously, come in from Glasgow Rangers, and then first game of the season, you know, gets two yellows, and um, so it's it's just stunted him a little bit in terms of, you know, getting into the team. But it won't hold him back because he's a good player, and good players do get back into the team. And and you know whether that be in his in his favour, the more natural or one of the three midfield players on Tuesday night, or as you say, you know, in a fullback position, there's a number of roles he can play, and and he's very very comfortable and confident enough to do that. Is it just now about being more clinical in crosses and taking chances, or is there more to it? Yeah, maybe there is definitely more to it. Um, we gave four, we gave four goals away after you know we've gone one nil up at Sunderland and then and then given two goals away pretty quickly. So I'm disappointed with that. They're very disappointed with a with the first goal in the in the in the nature of you know not winning the first header. It seemed to sort of limp down to our left back spot where we gave a corner away. But similarly, you have to defend corners and you have to defend corners better than that to get an outswinging corner and then a first touch header. Is, is you know it's poor from our point of view. It's hard to do. We should make it harder for him. It should be more of a challenge, and to one touch finish there. And and you can say the second goal is a little bit of quality, and that's what McGeady's got, and he provides a difference uh, for him on many occasions. Certainly was the case on Saturday. But similarly, you know we we have to defend better than that in those moments, and and make it harder for them to break it break us down. Second half where we had really all of it. It was tough for us to get clear cut chances, and and to create. And as I said, you know our quality into the box wasn't good enough in some very very good positions and good build up play definitely through the thirds and 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 then similarly when their their keeper was needed he was he was there again a big player for them you mentioned no injuries from saturday what's the general update yeah uh, overall i mean ryan williams is is still progressing uh, uh, bolton has you know 
there or thereabouts now after another few days, which is which is good news. The only other player who, who won't be available this week is Ollie Hawkins. But similarly, by our next batch of games, I'm looking for those guys to be fit. So, you know, relatively good uh, um, uh, uh, treatment room at the moment with only Jack Watmore as our long-term injury. And from Saturday anyway, everybody else uh, fit, available and looking to- forward to... Tuesday night at Fratton Park. Does the fact there's no game on Saturday mean this is more imperative? Yes, I think it's going to happen that way this 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 season. With suddenly, you know, you get a cup game. Maybe you know you're looking at Berry, Bolton have been okay so far. Uh, international call ups. Obviously, as you say, you know Saturday's game called off. You know due due to other reasons. So the games will come sort of in in spurts really uh, rather than being evened out but whenever they come it doesn't matter you have to be ready for them and you have to be right and and as you say no game at the weekend and then we go you know Queen's Park Rangers next week and then Blackpool away but uh, they'll come around quick enough and we have to be ready. Brilliant. Thanks Kenny.